All right, so I wanted to do a quick video showing how I got my tricopter working with the Nays 32 Revision 6 board. Uh, it's the one I ordered from Flight Test, the store. I actually ordered it unsoldered. And um, I don't know if you can see there, I would probably recommend for most people to buy the soldered version. Um, you can see I have these pins here sticking up quite a bit, or this breakout cable. Um, and I just wanted to go over quickly what I did to get it working um, with Clean Flight. Um, Base Flight is actually the supported software with it, but I could not get it to detect the servo movement, so I ended up going with Clean Flight. I'm going to show you quickly how I have the uh, servos attached and uh, the breakout cable where it corresponds to on the receiver because I had a, a great deal of trouble finding out where everything went. So um, you can see there's six pins here. Uh, the first one is here. That's the servo for the tail. Then you skip one in servo mode. The first two are servos and then it goes motor one, two, three, four. Um, so then I have uh, my first motor, second motor, third motor. That's it there. Then as far as the breakout cable, um, your black wire will be here, okay? And then um, red, and then you have all your signals. Um, I'll show you where they, they hooked in to my Spectrum AR610 receiver, and maybe that'll help you out a little bit uh, on your build. Okay, so first you can see the colors. It's uh, black, red, white, brown, green, yellow, red, then another black and red and white. I didn't end up using all those as uh, for auxiliaries. Uh, so the first one uh, on the breakout cable is um, the black, white, and red. Now this, for mine, went into the aileron, went into the aileron slot. Okay, so that powers up your receiver. Um, all the rest of them are just one one wire to go to your receiver. They're just signals. Um, so then the brown goes to the elevator. Um, let's see, the green goes to the throttle. The yellow goes to the rudder. And then finally, this... Um, this orange color is the uh, gear, or which amounts to auxiliary one. Okay, so that's all. Um, that's all I really know about the Nays board. But that's how I had it, you know, hooked up and wired up uh, to my receiver. Now, as far as um, Clean Flight goes, this is the build that I had to end up using. Uh, I tried Base Flight, tried Clean Flight, um, but I had to use this. Uh, I guess Nightly build is what it's called. Uh, it's 2147. You can find it on cleanflightmemoryleaks.org. Um, but the best way I did, or the way I found it was typing in Nays 32, Revision 6, uh, and Travis. Um, you can see here Hydra, uh, the guy who maintains Clean Flight. Um, build 2147. Um, there's the link for it. If you want the uh, URL, you can post it with the video. But yeah, that's it. Uh, doesn't fly great yet, but uh, still tuning it. It's a little bit tricky with this uh, YAW server. And just, if you were wondering, this is an Armitan 258 tricopter I bought from my buddy. All right, thank you. Hopefully uh, that helps somebody.